every day early in the morning charu would leave the house with her cart of vada pav it was not even the early morning for the other people but even before that the stove in the shop of charu would be lit the aroma of hot vada and the aroma of sweet and sour chutney would be felt by the people and people used to pull to charu shop but a big problem with her was that charu used to handle all her work alone due to which she often got late in serving vada pav to the customers hey didi hurry up i have been standing for the last half an hour that's it here is your hot vada pav oh sister what's the matter i came first so you should have given it to me first just wait for 2 minutes as vadas are getting ready you will also get it Hey leave friend since then your 2 minutes turned to half an hour now i don't need it it would be better to go to some other shop and eat that's why charu was not able to sell more than 50 to 60 vada pavs from morning to evening in the evening when she looked at her bag she said even after so much hard work i have earned only this much More than half of it will be spent on bringing the stuff for tomorrow. If I want to earn more, I will have to sell at least 400 to 500 vada pavs per day. After closing her shop while coming home, the first thing she did was to go to the grocery store and purchase a lot of stuff. At home, when Charu's husband Chandu saw so much stuff, he was stunned. He asked, Charu, why have you brought so much of stuffs? Because now I will sell 400 to 500 vada pavs in a day. Her husband Chandu laughed after hearing it. Hey, stop making jokes, Charu, and tell me why have you brought so much of stuff? I am not joking. I am telling the truth. I don't earn much by selling a few vada pavs. Maybe that's why we will have to sell 500 vada pavs per day to earn a good income. Charu, whatever you are saying sounds good, but it is practically not possible. Making these many vada pavs in a day is not possible for an individual. But it is possible within two people. Charu, what do you want to say? When I can help you with all the household work, then you can also help me with my shop work. Anyways, till now the work I used to do by going to the shop in the morning, from today onwards I will do that work at home only. What if you'll do all the preparation of vada pavs at night then when will you sleep You know that we have dreamed that like others we too will have a house we too will have all the comforts and facilities If yes then Chandu the dream is not that which is seen while sleeping but the dream is that which does not let you sleep Now I will not rest till I prepare 500 vada pavs in a day. Charu stayed awake the whole night and prepared vada pav in which her husband Chandu also helped her. Early in the morning both the husband and wife went out with the car. Seeing them many people taunted them in various ways. Hey look brother what a match god has made. One feels that she will become rich by selling vada pav. And now her unemployed husband also comes to her cart to help her foolish people <laughs> You told the truth Can a person become rich by selling vada pav People also start dreaming without knowing anything about the market such a foolish Despite all this Charu does not step back She would set up her stall on time every day and serve tasty vada pavs to the people with all her heart Due to the sale of more vada pavs, the earning has started increasing. On one hand, Charu would make hot vadas, while on the other, her husband Chandu would put the vadas in pav and serve them to people with chutney. Gradually, the crowd at the shop started increasing. After working all day, in the late evening, when Charu would see her money box, she would become very happy. Chandu, look. Now the earnings have started getting better than before. Charu, this is the result of your hard work. You did what you said. I am overjoyed. On this statement of Chandu, Charu said in the filmy style, "It was just a trailer. 
there is still a lot to be done. Keep watching and move ahead. Chandu was surprised on hearing this and said, Charu, what else to do now? Till now, we were making 500 vadas a day. Now, we will make more vadas. Charu, do you know what you are saying? We are already exhausted by making these many vadas. We will not be able to make more vadas. We will bring more people with us. I am sure that our vada pao stall will be famous all over the country. Charu hired two people to help them. And then they started making thousands of vadas a day. Gradually, the crowd started gathering at their shop. The entire street used to be jammed with people standing in line to eat their vada pao. Then a customer came to Charu's shop. After eating her vada pao, he made a video of it and posted it on the internet. It was the result of Charu's hard work and honesty that the video went viral on the internet. The next day, when Charu left her house with her trolley, as soon as they reached the place of their shop, their eyes widened. Why is everyone crammed into this space? I am pretty sure that they have come to eat vada pao, which you have prepared. As soon as they saw Charu, everyone in the crowd started walking towards her. Everyone was demanding vada pao from her. Some people have also come from the media who wanted to interview Charu. Charu had become famous all over the country overnight. I can't understand whether all this is a dream or reality. Charu, this is not a dream. This is the result of your hard work and honesty. I am glad that you achieved it. Seeing such a crowd near her cart, Charu had tears in her eyes. She wiped her tears and started serving vada pao to the people. Soon, a few moments passed and then Charu became the biggest vada pao girl in the entire country. Even the biggest leaders and businessmen used to come to Charu's cart to eat vada pao. Today, Charu has a bungalow, a car, money and everything that she had ever dreamed of. Those people who once made fun of Charu's poverty, today they also come to Charu's shop to eat vada pao and praise her. Day by day, Charu became so famous that seeing her success, even many more people opened vada pao shops. But no one could get success like Charu. Today, only Charu's vada pao is discussed all over the internet and in every house. So friends, you have seen that no work is small or big. If a person works wholeheartedly, then definitely get success in it. Richard was a very ambitious man. He wanted to do many things in future. But he always neglected what he wanted to be. And this habit made him regret something like this. Richard, wake up. It's almost noon now. How long will you sleep? Get up and do some work. Earn money and support your father. How long will he take care of you? He's getting old, son. Mom, please let me sleep. Again that nagging. I will do everything at the right time. At that time, Richard's father came and heard their talk. He said, Hey son, when will your right time come? If you keep wasting your time, one day you will have to regret you will see it. Saying this, Richard's father went out of the house. And Richard thought, It is high time now. Richard went out of the house to accomplish something or the other. On the way, he met a knowledgeable sage. Greetings, sir. You are so knowledgeable. Only you can solve my problem. Please help me. Son, I can understand your problem and I can have a solution to it as well. What's that, sir? Please tell me fast. I want to get my mom and dad's wish fulfilled as quickly as possible. I want to see them live happy always. Fast? But we will have to walk a little bit. And there you will get the solution for your problem. Yes, sir. 
Why not? I will definitely come with you. And Richard came to a seashore, walking with the intelligent sage. Sir, why have we come here? There is nothing here that can solve my problem. Son, believe me, if you wish, you can get solution to all your problems here itself. How is that, sir? The beautiful and shining stones that you see on the seashore. There is an extremely precious stone hidden in them. You will be able to fulfill all your wishes as soon as you find it, and you will get whatever you want. What? Is this really possible? And how will I recognize that precious stone? You will have to act very smartly in order to recognize it, because that precious stone is shinier than other stones there. And when that stone will be in your hand, you will feel that it is slightly warm. So, keeping in mind all these things, you will have to start finding that stone from now. Saying this, the intelligent priest went away. Richard started looking for that precious stone with a strong willpower. There are plenty of stones here. I will have to complete this work fast. Saying this, Richard started working and he looked at every stone very carefully, and he threw the stones that he felt was not that precious one. Richard worked day and night to find that precious stone. Doing this, at least four to five months passed. Richard got disappointed many times, but then again he set to work, gathering his willpower. His work gained pace in those five to four months. Now he started completing his work faster than before. He picked the stone, looked at them, and threw them in the water. Doing this, suddenly the precious stone came into his hand. But because of the flow, he threw that into the water too. Then suddenly he realized what he had done. What have I done? I threw the precious stone in water. What will I do now? All my hard work of so many days and all my time got wasted. So, friends, we also do something similar in our lives. There comes a day in our life from when we can convert our life into gold. But we waste that day too, just like we do with the other days, and we lose the opportunity that we get. For which we regret afterwards, and those days never come back. So live every moment of your life in a special way. Maybe life will also give you your precious stone. <laughs>